I call them foundational pillars. I was very blessed when I saw the theme for this conference, the resurrection. And I think, Pastor, this represents the epicenter. Most believers do not excel in their faith adventure primarily because our knowledge, spiritual knowledge, is not organized, is not synergized to produce a victorious believer. There is a way God designed that men would know him. And there is an apostolic order of accessing spiritual knowledge. Hallelujah. An apostolic model that was delivered to the early church. That means there is a template by which the average believer must submit himself to, to be holistically built. Now, you are at liberty to freelance spiritual knowledge here and there, but it will not be organized to produce a victorious life. This is the tragedy with many believers. So we know little of many dimensions in the spirit. Like a man who wants to build a house like this. You have a zinc here, you have the cement here, you have the ions here, but you are not able to organize them to produce a victorious life. So there's hardly any dimension of truth you communicate that believers are absolutely ignorant of. The key is to be able to organize it to produce a victorious life. We know that prayer is important in the believer's work. We know that giving is important in the believer's work. Are we together? We know that a sound mind is, is important in the believer's work. We know that an understanding of authority is important. But to be able to synergize them together to produce a victorious Christian life is where many people are found wanting and it is for this singular reason the bible says he gave unto some that he led captivity captive and he gave gifts as men to men some he gave apostles some he gave prophets some he gave evangelists pastors and teachers to what end the bible says for the perfecting the maturing of the saints that the saints now in their matured state will do the work of the ministry that we all together will grow into the fullness of the stature of the measure of christ he says not tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine and the slight of men wherein they lie to deceive hallelujah so it is important for us to know that we must contend for methodical spiritual growth and so when I saw this teaching about resurrection, for me, my heart really reached out to the teaching because in this single topic contains the power, the victory of the believer in Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, please. Let's begin our reading from verse 1. And I please request that you lend me your attention. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which i preached unto you which also ye have received and wherein ye stand notice the construction of paul paul is a very intelligent man not just a spiritual man his discourse is very articulate he's now saying there is an understanding you stand upon he's doing a recap and then he says verse 2 now by which ye also are saved if ye keep in memory what i preached unto you unless ye have believed in vain verse 3 now it says for i delivered unto you first of all that which i also received what did he deliver how that christ died for our sins according to the scripture number one number two verse four and that he was buried number two and then the third point is that he rose again on the third day according to the scripture verse 4 now it says he was seen of cephas and of the 12 next verse please after that he was seen ab with ab um, above of above 500 brethren at once of whom the greater part are alive unto this time let's stop there because of time the full text is to verse 20 so he gives us the framework of what we call the gospel or salvation he says this is the truth upon which you stand that number one christ died for your sin according to the scripture number two he was buried the bible says 
and then number three that he rose again are we together now and that in his resurrection he was seen of many as proof there are certain foundational pillars that all believers must have if we are to walk victorious this becomes the basis of your faith this becomes the basis of your exploits this becomes the basis of your confidence the understanding of the believer as far as redemption is concerned was designed to be framed around these truths and i'll just do appreciate the lord on your behalf because i believe that you listen to the word of the lord and i believe that the, the word of the lord has done something in your life and i join you to pray that whatever declaration or vision or idea that god bring into your mind may it come to pass in the name of jesus may it manifest in your life speedily in the name of jesus i still want to encourage you if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe make a comment if you believe that God has blessed you and God has reached out to you through this message, tap Amen. Type Amen on, on the comment section and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.